Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your USB flash drive says it's full but no files are being shown. So in a very likely scenario, your flash drive is corrupt and perhaps the files are stored on it as well. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully be able to recover the use of your flash drive. Now keep in mind the step I'm going to go through in this tutorial will remove any data that's currently stored on your flash drive. Now there's a good chance that most of the data is already corrupt at this point and it would be very expensive to try and recover it and it might not even be possible in some cases depending on how badly it's damaged. So I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind before we proceed any further in this tutorial. But with that out of the way, let's jump into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Windows 10 devices, you want to type in this PC. On Windows 7 and Windows 8, you want to type in computer. And you want to left click on the best match that, in my case, is this PC because I'm on a Windows 10 computer. Now you want to locate your flash drive, flash disk, whatever you are calling it, or whatever the manufacturer more than likely has named it. And you want to right click on it, and it should be underneath devices and drivers, by the way. And again, you want to right click on the disk, and then left click on format. You want to make sure the file system is set to NTFS default here and underneath format options the quick format box is checked and then you want to just left click on start. You will get a pop up saying that formatting will erase all data on this disk. To format the disk click OK. To quit click cancel. I'm going to left click on OK here. It should say format complete. It shouldn't take very long. At this point, I would try opening up the flash disk again, see if you can access it, and try storing some files on there. Now, I would make a note that once a flash drive has been corrupted at some point in time, it's probably a good idea to start looking into a replacement drive, but it's definitely something to keep in mind, and I wanted to put that out there as well. But I do have this brief tutorial was able to resolve your guys' issue, and as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.